Hello everyone, Dark Blaine here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I just want to do some more campaign progression on my free-to-play account. I'm going to try to make it through the entire chapter. I'll just have to see if just how quickly these battles go. But for now, I'm just planning on making it through the entire chapter. So let's get on with the video. Okay, I'm just going to start start battling here, start battling these uh, campaign stages. We're pretty uh, powerful here. So yeah, I think I'll just start here, just start with this team formation and just see how we're able to do here. We're just a little bit more powerful than these guys here. So we should be able to make it through these, at least these first couple bosses pretty easily. And we'll have to see after that how well this campaign progression goes. That first one is down pretty easily. Here, look, they're, they have a mythic hero here, so... Yeah, they're starting to add uh, mythic heroes. This is a mythic ogi. But we'll be able to take that ogi down. Rowan does very well in the front line. People call him a pseudo tank because he can do some tanking in the front line. And there we go, now we're having uh, three mythic heroes. It's kind of un. Oh, Damon went down very easily there. It's kind of unfair that the enemy team formations can have mythic fodder while I'm only able to have legendary uh, plus tier fodder. It's kind of unfair, but but we we have the elder tree and yeah, and most most mostly through this campaign we also have signature items over them. So so I guess I guess it somewhat balances out. Now we're on eleven four. And just see how Damon can hold up to this one. Damon died immediately, pretty much in the in the last battle. I don't know how. I wasn't really paying attention to Damon. But there we go. Damon survived that one. And everyone else survived as well. And the first boss in chapter 11 is down. Looks like they have a mythic Kaz. A mythic hero on their team that is not fodder. Silas just saved Damon there. Damon looked like he was about to die, but Silas with his uh Silas and possibly Rowan with their healing uh helped Damon out. Which is why you need support in your team formations for that healing. Now they're moving on to four mythic heroes out of the five. Four of the five mythic heroes on their team now. And there goes Damon's ult. Rowan's about to ult pretty soon as well. But, but we were able to take them down before that was going to happen there. And yep. Ooh, a mythic Laika. On Damon went down again. Damon unfortunately went down again on that one. I think we have it though. With yeah, we have it. With everyone else there. Oh, I was I was expecting them to have a full team of full team of mythic there, but. Apparently that's not what they wanted to do. I think I'm going to switch Damon and Rowan around here. Just so I think Damon would probably die if he was on the other side there. Which it looked like he probably would since Rowan was almost there to death. Now 
There's Rowan ulting there, giving everybody some energy. I believe everybody besides Ellie Ward, since Ellie Ward is on the other side of the battlefield. But we, we were able to take down 11-8, 11 11-8 8, 11 there. And let's just continue. Their level's at 138, which our lowest level's at 140. So we're just we're just a little bit a leveled more than they are. We have two levels above them. That's gonna change pretty soon though. That'll probably change really soon. Yeah. Damon almost going down again. Looks like Damon's starting to not do not do so well in the front line. I mean he's not really in my opinion he's not really supposed to be in the front line because yeah. He just goes down quickly. I mean, this, this this team is still doing pretty well with Damon in the front line, so I'll just keep it that way. With all, all the healing from Rowan and all the healing from Silas, Rowan, or Damon's, Damon's still being able to stay alive. Yep, there's Silas's ult there. And... This one's almost down, pretty much. There we go. Still able to take these uh, teams down pretty easily, and there we go. This is what I was hoping for here, a full team of Mythic. Starting at 11-12 with a full team of Mythic heroes on the enemy, the enemy side of the battlefield. Just like I thought Damon went down. Just like I thought would happen, really. And Raku doing... Raku, I believe, is doing quite a bit of damage here. And there goes Eliward. I'll have to see what happens here. I might have to restart this battle here. Yeah, I'd, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna restart this one. Rowan or Namora over there healing. I'm just gonna get timed out pretty much with that one. Let's just move let's just move the formation around a little bit so Damon can at least try to survive a little bit. Yeah, there you go, Dame Damon's surviving now. But Rowan went down. I think we still have it though. Just needed that uh, extra damage to just be able to take this team down. There we go. That third boss is down now. And yeah, let's just move on. Now they're starting to get up to our level now. Yeah, we're just still able to take everybody down here pretty easily. There we go. On to the next stage here. They have a mythic Arden. Um, looks like they also have Kasos down here, which Kasos Already, it's already been taken down. There we go. When everyone gets going, it pretty much is game over. Everyone on my team gets uh, going with ulting and everything. And... Yeah, thanks to all the healing again, Damon was able to survive there. And there's Namora again. Namora appearing in quite a few of these stages.
Yeah, I, I, I still wish that they would that they would kind of introduce some of the newer heroes into these earlier stages of the campaign. I mean, it would, it would be a little bit of work to do, but I feel like it would just uh, make this early game kind of feel modern. Because I'm just seeing the same heroes in almost every battle. And it gets, it gets boring after a while, just seeing the same heroes. So if they, so if Lilith would, it would be great if Lilith would uh, put some of the newer heroes into this early, uh, early phase of this campaign. I think we still got this one though, even though Damon died. Kaz is somewhat, somewhat annoying because he, she's able to just dodge and everything. A lot of the damage. Ooh, and there's Muriel. Got to make sure I take her down before she ults, because that will most likely kill off everybody. Which we got her down, though. I, yeah, I definitely wish they would introduce the times four speed earlier in the campaign. I just don't like that I'm having to look at a uh, times two speed. It makes this campaign progression a lot slower. Again, they have K sauce. Looks like they have Angelo down here, though. That's a little bit of a change, though. There we go, that one's also taken down. We're pretty much halfway into this. Yeah, just seeing these seeing these heroes over and over again in the campaign is just kind of just kind of boring. I don't I don't really like seeing the same heroes over and over again. Looks like Damon survived though. But Rowan died. We were still able to get it though. And on to 11 20. Again, they have Muriel. Hopefully, we can take her down before she does her ult. There we go. Muriel's down. Now, this, the rest of the team, this team should be pretty easy. There we go, their front line's taken down, and there we go. Okay, that one's down. We're just over halfway into this uh, chapter here. There goes Rowan again. Shouldn't really, shouldn't really matter, though. We still have Silas, who's doing a lot of healing. We still have our main damage dealers. There we go. Pretty much, pretty much it for that stage there. And on to the next stage. Have, have, have pretty much the same heroes again. I feel like they sometimes just leave the same heroes in, in there and just switch up the team formation. They just switch the heroes around and then they're like, okay, that's good. It's good enough for me. It's just the same. Yep, just having everyone in the same team formation. On my on my end. On my side of the battlefield. There we go, we have another full team of uh, Mythic there. Another full team of Mythic heroes to battle with. And it looks like Rowan is going to survive this one. Silas ulted and he chose Rowan to heal, so Rowan survived there. 
Here we go, on to 11-24. Looks like they're using, using mostly light bearers. Looks like they have Estrilda. And again, Rowan died there. But we still got this one down though. There we go. That one's down. Another, another boss taken down. And it looks like they're going down to three mythic heroes this time instead of four. This one should be pretty easy. Yeah, I think I think we got this one pretty much. Yeah. That, that one was really easy. That was a really easy stage there. Oh now now they now they have a full team of mythic here. It's kind of random just how just how many mythic heroes they have. Went from three to five. And yeah, they just are just putting a random amount of mythic heroes in the enemy formation here. I don't know I don't know how many mythic heroes they want to put in there. Because in the last one it was three, and in this one it's now five mythic heroes. But we still take took it down either way. Now one's down. And now it's four. Now they have four mythic heroes. It's kind of an awkward transition between uh, the legendary heroes and the mythic heroes because they just keep on changing the number of mythic heroes that they have in each formation. There we go. Ooh, and now they have an ascended tier. Now we're now we have an ascended Kasos here. Let's see how this goes down. Let's see how my team can go against this Kasos. Unfortunately, my Damon went down. Should probably have had my uh, Rowan down where Damon was. Looks like we took down Kasos though. Took down the Ascended Tier Hero. And I'm pretty sure we have this one down here. That Golas though. There we go. That one's down. It looks like we're gonna start seeing some Ascended Tier Heroes in these next couple bosses. Looks like Damon's gonna survive this one. Hopefully Rowan survives this one as well. There goes Rowan's ult. And Silas's ult. And this one was taken down pretty easily as well. There we go. On to 11-30. Looks like they've decided on having a full team of mythic heroes. Looks like they might be done having a uh, legendary tier heroes in the formation. We'll have to see about the next battle though. Looks like Damon died. Savius doing a lot of damage. Savius does a lot of damage. There we go. Yeah, it looks yeah, it looks like they're looks like they're done with the legendary tier heroes. See he's he was ascended. And there goes Damon again. They don't have a Nomura, so it looks like we're looks like we're good here. Don't have to worry about really don't have to worry about healing that much. 
It looked like Ellie Ward is down. I think we still have it, though. Yeah, we still have it. We still got it. Move on to the next boss here. Looks like the main boss is a descended Estrilda. Yeah, I'll keep it this keep it this way. Keep this formation here. Hope Damon survives this one. Damon does a lot of uh, damage here. It looks like he will. Rowan getting low in health. A little bit. And, but Rowan just gained a lot of health back thanks to... I think it was thanks to Silas's clouds here. I like, I like those clouds that Silas uh, gives off. To me, they're really cool. I'll keep it like this, I think. I don't want my daemon going up against that uh, Savius. Yeah, Savius just took out my uh, Rowan. Hopefully Damon, hopefully Damon can survive. Looks like he survived that uh, Muriel ult. That's why, that's why I want to take down Muriel as soon as possible, because that ult does, does a lot. Muriel's ult can sometimes take down uh, heroes in one shot. Here we go. Looks like they have an ascended K sauce there. Hopefully, hopefully I can take this one down here. Here goes Silas. Silas uh, going for Rowan there. It looks like we got it down. Yeah, this is pretty much it. if we can get through that n initial uh, wave of damage, then then it's pretty much uh, good from there. Oh, and this one having only mythic heroes this time. I wonder if they're gonna do the same thing for transitioning to uh, send a tier heroes that they did to mythic tier heroes, where they're just gonna like change the amount of uh, change the amount of ascended tier heroes up and down, increasing the number of ascended tier heroes and then decreasing the number of ascended tier heroes, just making it a little bit awkward, making the transition a little bit awkward. There we go, got that one down. Now we are on to the second to last boss. Again, only having one ascended tier, Estrilda there. But yeah, I'll, I'll move these around. I want Raku to survive, that's why I move Raku around. I want him in, I want him in Rowan's uh, uh, healing area. And also to gain a Raku dan uh, energy. So Raku can ult. Raku's ult does does a lot of damage. Looks like we lost Elior, but that shouldn't really matter. Yeah, I don't I don't think it'll matter that much. Yep, that one's taken down. Up to we're going up to the final boss here. After I beat this uh, final boss, I will just stop there. Video is probably long enough already, so don't want it to be too long. There we go. This one should pretty much be down then. Yeah, Golis is able to take a lot of damage. Especially as his health decreases, he's able to take more and more damage. When I, when I initially played this game, Golis was definitely one of the heroes I had to look out for. Because he would just... He would essentially time out my entire team. He'd be able to time out my entire team. Yeah, let's move those two around. 
Again, I don't want my Damon going off against their Savius. But it looks like that but it looks like it didn't really help much there. Looks like it didn't really help much. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to retry that one. Well, I guess I'll do that. I don't really have I don't really have that many tanks. I guess I can put in I guess I can put in Saurus. See if Saurus can do anything. I guess I can put in Saurus there. Just hope that Saurus can do a little bit of uh, damage here. I know Saurus won't be doing any healing, but I'm just looking mainly for that uh, damage there. Oh. Okay then. I guess. I guess let's do this. Uh, yeah. I'll just keep that like that there. I doubt Raku can do any tanking up front, which no. Wow. Okay, it looks. We're so close to the boss here. I'll just give it one more go, I guess. If I can't get it in this one, I will just... I guess I'll just uh, end the video here. I don't want to try this stage too many times. Yeah, Let's see if Damon can hold a couple times here. Yeah. Okay, I guess I will, I guess I'll end the video here then. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to do some campaign progression on this account. I was hoping to make it to chapter 12, but it looks like I need to gain just a little bit more power in order to do that. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment anything you want me to do in AFK Arena. And I might do it in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.